Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and this is a tutorial for Minecraft Extra 60 to do with redstone uh, logic gates to be precise. Uh, because redstone is pretty hard to remember, especially on the console, because you can't just pull up the wiki. And uh, even though, even if you do pull up the wiki, the wiki is really confusing in my opinion. So if you could do a video tutorial to maybe help you guys out with redstone. Uh, if you want more redstone tutorials, let me know, but let's just jump right into this one. Uh, so first of all, uh, logic gates are basically a way to do things with, uh, you know, uh, redstone signals that allow you to do some more complex things than just uh, that switch opens that door or that switch shuts that door. Uh, you can do stuff uh, such as, let's uh, you know, the knock gate, for instance. So this means that uh, inverts the signal. So when you put something into a block, uh, also these signs aren't needed for them. I just put the signs on them anyway. They, like it works just without the sign as well, just without the sign. Uh, but yeah, so uh, when you put a redstone charge into a block and then you put a torch on the other side of the block, it will invert the signal. This is one I've known for a while. I use it quite a lot in my let's plays. Uh, again, if you notice those, um, and basically what it will do is. Um, it will just invert the signal, which is handy if you want the opposite of something to happen. So, uh, for instance, I want that piston to go down when I turn on the switch rather than up. Uh, this is a bad example because the switch is usually thing. But for instance, with a pressure plate, uh, so let's say uh, I want it, when I stand a pressure plate, I want a block to be you know a retract or turn off the red node signal. That's where the off signal comes in handy. So it will pull that block down rather than uh, push, pushing it up. And then that's where the uh, you know the knock gate comes in handy. It's just inverting a signal. It's 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 pretty handy in my opinion. I what like uh, you can work around it, but it's a lot just to use it in my opinion and it's also combined with the other gates so that's uh, where it comes in handy so the next gate is a uh, and gate also i'm gonna quickly go to sleep while this works um but yeah, if you want me to do any more like in-depth uh, redstone tutorials, or if you have any suggestions on how I can improve this one, then uh, let me know while we uh, go with that. And uh, you can also download the map uh, if you want to, you know, piss about with the redstone circuits yourself. Anyway, yeah, the AND gate is a uh, gate that means if the two redstone inputs are both turned on, then uh, it will power the third redstone input, or the, you know, the redstone output. Sorry. Uh, so if one of them's turned off, then it won't power. If both of them are turned off, it won't power. If one of them's turned on, it won't power. They both have to be turned on. That's how an AND gate works. And it's handy if you want to have. Uh, this is how it works. By the way, you use a redstone torch on top of the block with a redstone trail in between the two torches uh, then a redstone torch uh, on the side of the redstone trail on the block and um that's how it works, and it's it's quite handy in my opinion. So this is a uh, one use fit. Uh, you saw it in my creep trap video. If you watched that, if you didn't, then I'll link that at the end of the video. Uh, basically, uh, if you, for instance, this door here won't open unless you have this switch turned on. At which point, if you stand the pressure plate, it will open. And uh, it's it's handy for having traps that you can turn on and off, uh, even if they're redstone based. And uh, that's that's how I like to use it anyway. Um, or you can mess around people and uh, you know make your brush plates not work on doors for them uh, by using the switch on and off when you want. It's there's quite a lot of uh, practicalities for it, especially if you want to you know mess around with your friends or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's how that works. The so next is the NAND gate, and uh, there's that, this is just a AND gate combined with uh, an inverted signal, except here it's slightly used differently because uh, previously it did have an inverted signal. And basically, it's the exact opposite of an AND gate. So if the, if uh, both of them are turned on then uh, it won't be powered and if neither of them are turned on or if one of them's turned on uh, then it will stay powered so it's basically just an AND gate with a uh, NOT gate attached to it, except it's a slightly easier way to do it in my opinion, but that's, uh, I, I, I would recommend just remembering the NOT gate and then tying that to an AND gate, that's just my personal opinion though. Uh, so next is the OR gate, or the OR gate, I just call it the OR gate, and uh, basically this means if either of them are turned on, then it will power the redstone trail. So if this is turned on, that powers, if this is turned on, that powers, if they're both turned on, that powers, but if neither of them are turned on, that doesn't power. And uh, yeah, it's just a way of making it so either input will power something. Uh, so you can have two switches for something that will both work. Uh, the problem with this is though, if uh, two switches for something both work, then you have to turn them both off if you want it to turn off. So if I go to this one, then I turn this one on, uh, then you have to turn them both off, which is something where you need the XNOR gate, but I'll show you that in a minute. So next is the NOR gate, uh, which is the exact opposite of the OR gate. So if both of them are turned on, then, uh, no, if neither of them are turned on, then it will stay power. Wait, actually, sorry. If, yeah, if neither of them are turned on, uh, then the block will power. But if uh, one of them's turned on, then it won't power. If both of them are turned on, it won't power. And uh, that's how it works. Uh, sorry, I got a bit confused that one. I would recommend, again, just using a uh, OR gate and then using a NOT gate attached to it. Uh, it, just, it just means you have to remember less gates. But if you prefer remembering the NOR gate, then it's a redstone block on the side of a, uh, you know, on the side of the uh, OR gate. And then followed by trail if you want to trail, obviously. Uh, and next we have uh, the most complicated gate. This is one that you're going to need to, if you want to, you know, actually accurately remember. You're probably going to want to freeze the video and just uh, copy this into your world or whatever. Uh, or you could just download mine as I offered. So, um, 
the XOR gate, or XOR gate as I call it. Uh, it's basically a way of making it so two inputs will work on something, and if they... It's basically like a way to make uh, two ways to open a door, like an inside switch or a door and an outside switch. And uh, as you can see, in this way, if they're both turned on, then it won't be powered. And if uh, they're both different, or as I'm saying, if they're both different, then it'll power. If they're both the same, it won't power. So if they're both turned off, it it won't power. If they're both turned on, it won't power, but if one of them's turned off and one of them's turned on, then it will power. Uh, I, have, I have a little problem using it this way. For some reason, I much prefer the uh, the NXOR gate or the XNOR gate uh, because it works the opposite way. So if they're both powered, then it will power. If they're both turned off, then it will turn off. Uh, that's just my personal preference, and uh, just in case you want to uh, copy these in your Minecraft world, uh, the pause video right here, and uh, this is how both of them work, so just, uh, you know, copy this in your world or whatever. And uh, yeah, this is it being used in uh, practicality, so let's say I have a house with two doors, uh, a back door and a front door, and I uh, want them both to open at the same time, but be openable from both uh, sides. So, uh, with this example, I can open this switch and go through the house, it will open the back door as well, and uh, then go to the back garden, do my gardening, I guess, let's say this is my back garden, and then we can uh, shut the doors from out here while we're out here, because we don't want creepers walking in while we're gone or something, and uh, then when we want to come back in, we can open the switch from here and come back in that way. Or we could uh, leave it shut, for instance, and uh, go right back around the front door, and uh, open it from there as well. So uh, that's why I'm such a big fan of it. And uh, for some reason it glitches out when you do it like that. But you get what I'm saying. So uh, it's it's pretty handy when you do it like this. And um, it has quite a lot of utility in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. So these are all of the uh, redstone gates. Uh, there are seven of them. But you only have to remember three of them. Uh, and then the uh, not gate in my opinion. But if you want to remember all seven. Then uh, I'll just quickly really scroll through them one more time. Uh, this is the not gate. This is the and gate. This is the NAND gate, this is the OR gate, this is the NOR gate, this is the XOR gate, or XOR gate, and this is the uh, the NXOR gate, or XNOR gate. I, I don't know why I keep getting those letters mixed up. But yeah, hopefully the, this Redstone gate tutorial helped you out. I know it's a little complicated, but it's a lot more complicated to read on the wiki, trust me. Um, so hopefully this helped someone out with your uh, redstone activities. If it doesn't and you want something more in depth, you want some like actual practical examples, uh, let me know and I can start doing that. Uh, if you want to support that, then like the video, uh, maybe share it, let people know or something along those lines, because uh, yeah, that's how I base my video, making decisions. Uh, so yeah, just uh, leave a comment, leave a like, or leave a share. I don't think you can leave a share. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.